Hello everybody, just giving us you an update on our little uh, calves. We got uh, one of the little guys laying right there. <laughs> um, and then I uh, have one right there. We still haven't named them yet. But I guess we'll get there sometime. Haven't come up with anything nice yet. So if you guys leave a comment below and uh, let us know what you think. What, what some good names for a set of bull boys, boy uh, bull twins. And there's Hetty, the mama. She's a good mother. Gonna have to get her out of here. Um, really been snowing and cold and windy we've had two nor'easters come through here so kind of just been leaving her in here you can see she's already mucked the place up and I was down here this morning at <laughs> eight o'clock um, but she stirred her hay all up so all right well I thought I'd give you an update on that and then uh, we'll catch you here in a minute we're gonna go up and check some uh, the maple syrup buckets so all right, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm up here in our uh, the forested part of our farm, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's uh, I have taps up here for maple syrup. It is tis the season, uh, and kind of see the. Uh, Colored lines, line tape everywhere. Some pink and orange and green. So, uh, in total, I have um, I have 20 taps on the other side of the road. Uh, that's just my uncle's ground, and then uh, I have roughly 70 taps over here on on me so um so i just come up here the weather has not been very conducive to to uh any of this lately we february we got uh i don't know i'd have to look at the logs but uh probably 300 gallons of sap or so 400 gallons maybe um it got so warm it actually ruined some of the sap spoiled so and so since like the second or third week of February I mean we have had nothing Let's see if I can get this open one-handed <clears throat> hang on let me go look at another one I don't think there's anything in that <sighs> Go down here. Oh, now it throws on. This is a kind of a newer version. I tried to put the line in the bottom of the instead of the lid in case it rains. <clears throat> it doesn't get. Oh, this one here we got the half a bucket there. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I don't the slap is not running today, I can tell you that. It's uh it's like 30 degrees here today. The wind chill down about 20. So there's nothing running today. Let's try this one. I have to put these rocks on top as if uh, yeah, that one's got some in it so I might have to come up here and do some emptying do a boil maybe do that this weekend it's supposed to stay cold so crazy how 
one tree will produce and 10 feet away another tree won't produce anything so let's check this one out yeah that one's only got a little bit in it it's mostly frozen these are my original taps I don't use these anymore unless I have to the bigger taps don't do as well so but there's some down there uh, like I said, I have like 70 taps all through the woods up here, so hopefully this weather gets straightened out, but I don't know what it's going to do. <clears throat> it was really bitterly cold here and December and January and then extremely warm in February and now it's kind of like storm after storm here in March so far and you know it's 30 degrees colder now than it was here in February so I don't know we'll see <laughs> all right well I'm gonna take a ride and check a couple more on up the uh, farther up in okay I don't know if this wind is bothering you or not but it's kind of windy here <clears throat> so you can see we have some more taps up here uh, down through there um, I could actually double to at least two and a half times what I have now um, but I just don't have an evaporator to keep up with the, uh, <clears throat> it won't boil off quick enough. So, our plan is, is to actually buy a, an upgraded pan for our evaporator. We have a 30 gallon evaporator and, uh, think there's anything in there next to nothing <laughs> so we're gonna buy a fluid it's called a fluid pan <clears throat> which increases uh, increases the evaporation rate to 125 taps um, my my evaporator is maxed out at 75 right now so I think what we're going to do and the new evaporators are you know, two to three thousand dollars the size I want so I think what we're going to do is just going to buy an upgraded pan for about four hundred and fifty dollars we have a uh, CDL evaporator and then I can take the pan I have and just build an arch um, so that'll give us basically a capability of 200 taps, which, you know, I can at least double my taps then. I think, you know, that's probably the most economical way to go. So, uh, well, I'm not going to pick any sap up today. It's probably do it Saturday. We have a farmer's market tomorrow. So... Um, indoor farmers market so we'll Saturday morning we'll get up and load up the tank and uh, to bring you along we can turn the, uh, the Kubota RTV into the sap wagon so if you guys uh, anybody that's farming or homesteading um, these things are extremely expensive but they honestly they are just amazing uh, you know uh, just can't say enough good about um, these RTVs I mean, we had a uh, just a, a normal UTV before gas powered one 
and I mean this thing is just amazing so we'll put a tank in and we can carry uh, 35 gallons at a time so but all right well it's cold out here and it's windy and I think we're gonna head down to the house and get warm maybe go do the chickens go feed them and pick up eggs but uh, yeah that'll be uh, I think that's gonna be it for today alright I'll catch you guys later peace out